This is a matchup we are bound to face in Europe with Siski, with Quick hovering in the shadows, with Spectral even in front. We have so many Samus here that always surprise the I mean, old, uh, out, of, uh, out of continent players who come and join us. Let's see now if Gluttony can defend the French throne or if Siski, as you said, on his very good momentum in this tournament, is going to win this set and I mean, wait for uh, later on in Grand Finals. I mean, I've said it before, right? I feel like of all three different like big continents with like, you know, EU, NA and Japan, oh, <laughs> Japan and Asia, I feel like, you know, people already have their opinions on top tiers. EU has been saying since the game came out, Samus is a good ass character. They got so many things in their arsenal, in their artillery to really change up the game plan and be so overtuned on what they can really put out. Uh, indeed, uh, just like that, we've seen a quick lead from Gluttony, but now Siski has been cooking a bit here. Yeah. We just need to be wary because as long as Gluten isn't on the ledge, he cannot keep on incentivizing. Oh, oh that's a bad hedge! Harry to L smash, my god! Bonjour, Siski! Let's go! Just lets the fist fly, you know, parry into F smash. Very commanding and, you know, setting the tone for how this first game's going on. But okay, getting past the bola can be so, so, so difficult. And into the grab, you know, you get that stage, you think you're safe, but you never, uh, really, you get snatched away. But okay, Gluttony, just trying to drift around, you know, abuse that air drift. It's kind of like weaving in and out of Samus's range. Abusing the air drift and also abusing the positioning of that bike, just forcing the bike as an, a bodyguard here for the bolas and all. But this time, though, the little bola into the dash attack, not going to get the kill, but still extending the advantage for his face here of the Spanish player. Babush in the face, but you're going to punish it with your own Nair here. Perfectly well done. By this gear. Get! Yeah, you can end on past yeah. the ball all you, you want, but anything. there's a dash attack, a big shoulder charge waiting Ooh. for you and Siski. Little bit of a mishap on the ledge. Little bit of some looting teams going on, but still the channel is going to stay on the same program. Siski going to keep it locked in. A little bit down on the percent deficit, but he's trying to work the way back up up till into half walk uh, and Blue Top is indeed. strong as ever. Looking at the timer, it was a perfect mid walk here. A few seconds before, would just have killed, I think. 69% here on the second side of the French player. Siski still rolling, still doing a lot of work on the ledge. The only issue is how do you bring this uh, gluttony to the ledge? Maybe like this? Okay, waiting it out. Okay, there we go. That grab is crazy. Snatching him up from so far away. I feel like it's longer than roll distance. Either way, Siski forcing the end from Gluto. Essentially comes back to stage, but again, Check are you really ever safe? Yep. Are you really ever safe when Bola thumbs up as always is there just to treat you right? Spoiler alert, you're not an a nabbit that Gluten had before, which is get back onto the ledge. He's kind of going back and biting on the face as a revenge. There we go, okay, jab, then uh, sorry, up uh, there, up there again. Okay, just evening the odds in a matter of seconds. I love what he's doing. He okay, gets out of the way of the bomb, shoulder charge again, but this time from Gluto's side, the big dash attack gonna put him off stage. And again, you're just trying to capitalize these air to airs. Seems to be in Siski saver this time. Parries the back air, tries to get a grab, a bit unconventional. The frame there on that move isn't really the best, but Ooh. still has the uh, advantage to use the, uh, the charge shot as well. There we go back in the face, not going to connect, but as you say, oh, oh my no. god. Finally, it's time to go for an edge guard now. What are you going to do with Samus here? No, you're going to let her get back, let her get back on the stage. Perfect. Grab is going to whip. The bike, though, was quite obnoxious here, not going to connect. Unfortunately, yeah, just like that, the game is even. And Gluto is out of the stage. <gasps> Oh my god, got spike on the face here, but nothing afterwards. Dropping around, going into the upper, back in the face, not going to be avoided, but straight back into the upper again. Get back on the stage. Here's my down there to counter yours. I'm really liking the bike play from Siski. He's throwing it up in the air, not even to hit Gluto, just to force that air. Because as long as you burn a resource, they can cover it with so many different moves. I'm telling you, bro, Samus' arsenal is crazy. Samus can cover two out of three options on your side. If you burn the alert, the third one is a checkmate situation, but this one here, what well, perfect on the timing go for the back here, just at the perfect timing to avoid a fair of Samus. Literally, is going to take the first stock here. Yeah, the, the way Gluto snuck in that back air was actually uh, kind of crucial. Timing like that can be a reason why Gluto's, you know, so maybe so far ahead sometimes, especially in that first game. Uh, the way he started off the first stock and the way it ended, very telling of like how to speak. Keeping up with Gluto's momentum can be so daunting you know, at times. I feel like Gluto just like, you know, goes in bursts at points. Like sometimes he's like, you know what? I'm going to dominate. Sometimes I'm going to hang back. If you can deal with it, cool. If you can't, well, you know, uh, more chance. Good, chance. Good luck, indeed, it is. All right, see, let's get back into the game two now. Mm, are we going to stay? That's a question on Battlefield. 
Uh, I have no idea. I'd imagine maybe going to Hollow Bastion. Seems like uh, it's great to be able to fill the game. Right? Just kind of, you know, command the platform, make sure that you can't go in it, control the zone. I feel like that's where kind of Siski shines, right? Is when he kind of has you in a certain zone that you don't really want to be. As long as he keeps outside that mid-range, or what I like to call the threat bubble, right? Where he knows you can't hit him, but he can hit you. Uh, that seems to be where Siski shines the most. And yep. if he can do that to Gluto or people on Battlefield, he's in a good spot. But at the moment, Gluto starting off strong yet again. The belly is showing its course. The classic Wario handshake here. 90 20% is still counting up be here. The corkscrew is one of the tools that Gluto is one of the, one of the only warriors using as a normal tool like this one. It's a really good get off me tool. You know, it's kind of like a, a pseudo get off me button, just like Siski with his up, but you know, he's very liberal with that move as well. Yeah. Both these guys definitely want to eject the hell out of there whenever they're in danger. Just a little pinch is all it takes. But all we're going to take is a little bite as well, getting a good taste of mm. what's come in the set. And of course, Gluto keeping them in the air. All of the, all of the claps, all the ups as well, just showing the hands. And then Siski really not ready for this battle. Gluto is just yoink the rhythm out of the game of Siski from the get go. I didn't let him get it back from once for one second. There we go, pressure on the last eight or the shield. And another grab get back off that stage. Babush not going to connect, but the is just going to Oh, oh but finally some the time. conversion going a bit too uh, a bit too much with the down smash maybe not exactly the right move to use and Gluto no, no, no. showing that hand and uh, you know just letting it rip. Yeah the Will Smith will do the trick here for Gluto. 55% only on his first stock and finally Siski does manage to get his feet into the rhythm but is it too bit too late my dear Fabs? It might not be but who knows Siski can take stocks in a flash. The thing is can he do it against Gluto of all people when Gluto's playing this Dude. hot uh, it can be so strong to kind of contest him. I, I want to say, you're up a stock, you know the vibes already. Absolutely. He's been facing Sonic so many times. You know that he can just wait it out and force this kid to approach, because sure, they have a mind and 0%. What? What? Letting the ledge drop happen, bro. Letting it rip as well. Of course, the up tilt, such a strong move. Another move in the ever loving arsenal of Samus. There's so many things you gotta think about. You wanna talk about mental stack. Samus uh, personifies that, of course. And okay, okay, the forward air, pushing off stage, wants to get the double forward air as well. Just can't find it going a bit too high. And now they're starting to scrap. But I feel like Gluto does such a good job in the CQC with Warrior of all characters. Yes, but uh, little by little, those interactions are going in the favor of Siski. Oh my god, another bomb in the face, another baller now. Another baller that's there and there is going to just. Still the deal, 120%, this is kill percent. Oh, okay, going to cover for the rolling because yeah. the WAP is on deck right now. So as long as you don't roll, we should be fine. Okay, burning the resource with the jump as well, the back air pushing him away. Going to try to get for the two frame, didn't manage to happen, but there we go. Going to shark under the platform, just forcing Sleski to do a mistake, avoiding, oh, oh, okay. Going, going for, for the, the command grab instead, yep. Yeah, going that's to the keep conditioning this. that's going to help along in the set as it goes along. <gasps> to get it in early, and oh my god, the patience from Gluto. Yeah, now the WAP is just going to add pressure. You stayed there, you wanted to go for a missile, that was not a good timing, you're going to be punished with a bike in the face. And now, though, again, with a WAP on deck, you need to be scared if you're Siski. And that's the good thing about, you know, punishing Zonas, right? It's punishing that, that pattern, that autopilot thing of, you know, when they put out there, you know, missiles, Gluto is ready for that time. Wanted to get the up tilt, maybe into WAP, gets the up throw up there either way, and sends the bike up on road distance. Siski has to stay in that zone on themselves. Kind of unironic, wants to do it himself, but Gluto kind of playing his own game, getting a taste of his own yeah. medicine. The doctor seems to be in humming, and uh, Gluto, no stopping him right now. He needs to wait the bike to pop off, because right now the bike up there isn't useful at all, and he can't go and grab it. So yeah, it's kind of a like stalemate situation. Both yep. of them just in the way that there we go. Now we're going to fight maybe some more aggressive options from side of Gluto. That now does he retrieve the bike. There we go. Okay, okay can't from this? not no. shield. Yep, yep, be the eject button, getting the hell out of there. Again, trying to get Gluto as well. <gasps> just missing the grab, the up tilt to walk, and it's 2-0 no, no, for no. Gluto. No, 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 my friend, you just missed two walk to grab in that game. No, 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 you, you can't do that. You're against the French King, you can't. It's uh, That's forbidden. That's a big mistake. This forbidden. is forbidden. It's just forbidden right there. Huh? As soon as, you know, you miss two grabs, it's like, you know what? You gotta forfeit your stock. Again, let's see now what we can do. 2-0. Um, I knew I said when you begin to cast together that your prediction was kind of good up to now, but is it going to be the second time you're a bit off here? I said he would win the event, not this set. Just oh. want to say that. Just want to say that. Okay, you okay. guys know that. Okay, okay. You, you're thinking for the run back already. I'm just saying that I said he would win this, the, the event, not the set. Reverse 3 0 or later on from losers? I don't think he reverse 3 0. I think Lucas played too hard right now. Yeah. We but are we'll going, see. We are removing the upper platform here. Yeah. You have to be two platforms only, gets the grab out of nowhere, kind of just chasing them down, but Samus of all characters oh, wants wait. to get the anti airs with the bear. And this pick up back Samus, bro. Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, with the different properties of the moves, of course, and maybe going to do its job. Is it really going to be a factor into this matchup? Who knows? Let's 
Lucy for now, even they in the game. Looks like Parry throughout the another time this Kulai can use perfectly well. Avoiding the Bola, just adding more percent. And here the pressure is already applied on Siski. You can see him go for the attack. Evasive action going for the RP. Another RP here on News on the side of the French player to add even more pressure. Oh my god, the rhythm of the game is just again in the hand of Wario. And you can see the wind slip out of the hand of Siski. Yeah, I feel like Siski getting a bit too desperate yeah. for these grabs. Trying to force things that just aren't there. And if you don't want to force them out of desperation, Uto will punish you uh, very accordingly. Has charge shot, semi charge. Just want to get a full charge. Of course, it is Ooh. unsafe. You can't be reversed, can't wave bounce, can't get no movement. Set. And Siski does heavily rely on that to be ambiguous with how he kind of, you know, the steps around the course. There we go. Going to go to the back as you say. This is, he's trying to be ambiguous, but Gluto has been there to collect him every single time right now. 151% next. <laughs> we just hear the wow you crown. <laughs> the wow you chance already. The wah! in the crowd, but here at those two sides, yeah, the backer is going to be enough here for sure, and I mean, it did happen once already at previous game, but can you think that this can get a clean stop before taking any damage? Uh, we're gonna have to hope and pray if you're if you really, if you're Spanish anyway, because at, at the moment it doesn't seem like Siski can really get in into this game plan. It seems to be Gluto just kind of you know being full course, getting the double jab, the up air right there, the last one gets both hits in the belly and gets the half off as well. No kill though. I don't even have the half off either way, but still uh, a kill nonetheless. This can't happen at the moment. Siski hanging on for dear life, looking for the bike on Gluto's side, can't find it, uh, but still has to burn another resource if he wants to get back down to center stage. Looking for the bike, but also looking for the victory for Siski here, because you can see one clean stock ahead here now. For Lutoning Solari is going to be cheering from the next game for sure. Absolutely. There we go, another back here. here. Maybe a Babush just to steal the deal. Nope, we're going to get back on the stage again. Not a single edge guard from Siski in that game. And that's way, what may be fatal for him compared to the previous games. Tries to get that back air and poke him, just can't get the hit. Gluto did a good job shielding it and kind of backing oh. away the bike, the bike though, shall I say. Good. Can't forget about that one, the charge shot. And then we get it from Bola. Thumbs up in the chip chat, please. Thank you. It's Bola time. Siski finally. Two stocks apiece, but is it too little too late? I mean, we shall, a lot yes, of it is. <laughs> I was going to say, yes, we shall see. You didn't hear me, but yes, yes, it is. A smash like this. Roll. That's going to hurt for sure. Maybe wake up Siski for once. Absolutely. But okay, charge hey, right here. Like charge right into the grab is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. But you know, Samus does it better than any other character, bro. Okay, another grab, snatches them away, pivot grab. Now you're on the ledge against Siski. Yo. One of the worst things ever to beat. Wait. No, okay, good get up attack like, timing here to avoid the pressure he was adding. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, straight up, 130% in one phase. Siski has been on the road now. Oh no! I was scared because again the timing is kind of off, but there's another one grooming right now in the belly of that big man. Stomach is rumbling, but can he get the kill? No, he can't. Up B out there to kind of push him away even more and more. Up throw. Okay, let we take those. And we're back in the game, humming, honestly. Honestly, I was surprised, but yes, we are 66%. And yes, there's going to be a walk on deck. But little by little, Siski can just use his tool that just like he'd been using for the last talk. Yep. Let's see now, going for the ball out. Oh, Bomb is not going to be uh, doing any damage, unfortunately, because yeah, of the grab armor. Back to grab armor indeed. The missile wow. forces him to shield, of course, the forward air, getting thwarted by that dash attack. Uh, Gluto is glowing, you know he's got the full walk oh, on deck, yes. looking for the falling up air. He's going to fall, go look for the falling up air and the roll on ledge, so just like now, maybe no, okay, just avoiding the oh, pressure on that. ledge. The this is how out. it begins. Okay, now what? <gasps> Please do not miss another grab. We've seen this uh, Glutony punish them so well last game. I don't want to see a deja vu. I don't want to see a duo, but it's going to be a back air, and it's going to be it. Glutony win 3 0 against Siski, sensing in losers, and will await in grand finals of QFA 2023 after Green 3 0.